Hey, I'm Lane. Yo, I'm Brad. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Radwood TV. This is my 1995 Audi S6. Uh, I bought this car from a coworker of mine when I was working at ECS Tuning. When I picked up the car, it was lowered on a set of H&R Sport Springs, and it's got a uh, three inch two Bennett exhaust, and a chip tune, and a big brake kit on the front. Uh, since then, I added a big brake kit to the rear. Why did you lift this car? <laughs> Uh, I decided to lift this car because I had had it lowered for a long time and I got a little bit bored with it So I was kind of on the fence of either selling it or doing something completely different uh, And because I live in Nevada where there's a bunch of public land and nice um, Like rocky trails and stuff I can go out in the middle of nowhere and go camping for the weekend or whatever and it's it gets looks like that's kind of the whole thing is it it's it's wild and different and nobody's ever seen it before why are you a masochist <laughs> uh that's a good question i think the whole reason that i am the way i am is because i enjoy when things are difficult uh this car has made things a little more difficult but um, it's, it's a little harder to drive. It doesn't handle as well as it used to. It ostensibly it has been made worse, but in a way that it's different and fun, I guess. The car was too good. Kinda, it it yeah. was almost boring, right? Yeah, yeah. It, so with it lowered and with it, you know, on good tire, you know, sticky tires and, and in boost and, you know, pulling hard. It, it was, it was too good of a regular sedan. Like it, it drove really well for a sports sedan and it handled really well. The suspension's great. It was, it was fun to drive, but it was a little boring. Like there was, it was too good at being a sports sedan and it's really not great at being an off-road car, but I wanted to do that anyway so that it would it would have a little struggle um, and as the driver you have to think about where you can go and what you can do with this particular car whereas on the street it would just go yeah. and and not have any issues so I and it looks badass it looks so badass so Brad you went and lifted the Audi I did it's, uh, and how it's, is it? It's kind of fun. Is it's, it is it perfect? No, it's definitely a worse car, okay. but it's a cooler car. Okay. Um, you know, in in the configuration it was before, I don't think it would have gotten any attention at all at Radwood or or on the street. I mean, I've had people give me thumbs up. I've had uh, people tag me on Instagram. They saw it on on the highway. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. It's definitely gonna, it, yeah, it definitely got more love because of that go right here. Uh, but you're the king of like, it'll be all right. It's, it's fine. Don't it's, worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. This thing's scraping pretty bad. This car is only worth six grand at most. Well, not now. Not now. Yeah, yeah. Now it's worth way less. Right. <laughs> uh, Once it's famous it'll be worth more yeah yeah i mean if you were especially if you were to park this among its competitors you know the m5 looks better the e500 is cooler it's got you know a, a better story this is just a boring sports sedan and it's not it, you know from the factory it wasn't really that fast it was 225 horsepower in a 4,000 pound all-wheel drive sedan it probably makes about 300 now but you know not even <laughs> even that's like not that fast so now that it's lifted, uh, I definitely want to put like a brush bar and fog light pods and a roof rack and uh, skid plates and all that kind of stuff to make it like look like a real off-roader. Even though it's got six feet of overhangs, 
it's, you know, the breakover and departure angles on this thing suck, but it'll look right, it'll be cool, I can take it over landing and go um, out to the middle of the forest for a weekend with my wife and my dogs, and uh, I want to put a trailer on the back to tow all of the Radwood gear to all of the events and have that kind of match with the same wheels and tires. Um, I gotta say these OZ wheels look so good on this car. I didn't expect them to look as good as they do. I knew they would look sweet, but they look even better than I expected. And the KO2s really pop. They've got a great sidewall profile on there. Very cool.